Here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Jason Williams. I am back and here again with another podcast and another recording for our YouTube channel. And uh, hey, let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, before we go ahead and get started, I've got tons of notes back here for us. Um, we're going to actually work our way through these notes and we're going to get this podcast underway. This podcast is going to be pretty cool because it's going to be like how to follow up like a pro um, and how to maintain customer interaction from the very first moment that we get a customer um, all the way to the end. So if you guys are loving that, you are in for a good treat. Let's bring in our podcast live and let's see what we could do to get everybody on the same page. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, everybody on the live podcast? What's up, everybody who's watching me live already? We've already had a few minutes just talking about what we're going to be covering today. I'm going to fast track it. Today is going to be a pretty quick and easy breezy, um, easy breezy, cover breezy um, podcast. So as some of you are already aware, on the video, if you're tuning in right now and coming in late, this is episode, I believe, six of this month, and we're going into how to follow up like a pro. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna talk about is, guys, um, what do you think so far? You know, like, what are you getting from the previous podcast? How's it working? What are you getting out of it? Are, are you seeing anything? Is it helping you with anything? Let me know. I want to know what's going on with you guys. Um, so one cool thing that I'm really loving uh, about this whole process is some of the feedback and the questions that I've been getting. Uh, I think that by doing this um, and doing a live stream, it's answering a lot of questions for a lot of people and it's helping a lot of people um, on top of having this podcast itself going live. Um, so real quickly, let's talk about kind of like our, First thing, which is setting up a Facebook message app on our phone. Um, it sounds kind of stupid. It sounds kind of simple. Like, um, yeah, everybody should have that, but most people don't. If you are new, um, old, current in business, did you know that Facebook actually grades your page based on your response and interactiveness? Right, so we have like a dedicated person that runs social media uh, within our company. Um, I still post things, but this particular individual posts everything else, um, does all the interactions on social media, even though sometimes I do interaction. Um, that's live straight from me. But 90% of what's being done is being done by this particular individual. So, um, if you can't afford that, how do you get that same kind of response at this time? You get your phone, iPhone or Android, whatever it is, and you slap that bad boy on with the instant messenger app uh, for Facebook. When you do that, you'll be able to get alerts when people leave messages or interact with you, which will help you get a faster interaction time. It also is going to help you with um, increasing your responsiveness, which Facebook once again grades you on. And based on how fast you were doing it, it boosts your page up and gives you more relevancy. Remember the key here on social media is being relevant because the intent behind all of this is to actually create relevance. Uh, go figure. So that talks about our first step today. The next one we're gonna talk about is actually doing um and setting up what about this your messaging app within facebook we're finishing up here on facebook but one cool thing that's within facebook that a lot of people don't take advantage of is their messenger system so i'm going to show you guys something and if you haven't done this before 
this is something you're going to really love. Some of you might know about this. A lot of you might not. Um, it's kind of one of those things that's kind of hidden in the background. And unless you really take your time digging through, you're just going to skip over it. So if you've been attention to detail as you've been doing what I've been telling you, you're going to notice that like I'm covering something you probably already know. But I'm going to give you some cool tips and tricks about that once we get to it. So let me go ahead and do a quick screen share. Uh-huh. And for those of you who are on the podcast, no fears, no worries. We're still going to go ahead and give you all the goodies. Don't worry about it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and keep this simple, stupid. And I now am going to blow up my page. All right. So let's go ahead. And first thing we're going to do is go straight to our Facebook um, account. When we go into our Facebook account, you'll have your personal account. Of course, you're going to click on the F. When you click on that Facebook icon F, it's going to drop down with a whole bunch of other things. In there, you should see your business page. Now, uh, once you go to your business page, you're going to notice there's something called settings at the very top towards the right. Click on settings, and you're going to see where it says general. This is all the information you should have already filled in and done for us. All right. If you have been listening to the previous podcast, if not, stop here, fill all this information out, make sure it's all up to date, get everything confirmed. All right, then, all right, you're going to go to what's called messaging. Messaging is a, a pretty neat system here, all right? A lot of people don't set this up, and it's set up kind of like a default. But you can come in, all right, in general settings. Use the return, t, return, excuse me, return key to send a message, all right? Try to say that real fast. Probably a tongue twister for you, too, <laughs> like it was for me. Um, so. Um, you know, you are going to want to turn that off. If you're like me when I'm typing or I have somebody who's typing, a lot of times you hit return, not thinking about it, and you try to drop to a new line or uh, go to a new section below, and it sends your message. So I have mine set to off. You don't have to do that, but if you did, it's going to allow you to keep from accidentally sending messages. For me, that's important because eh, that's usually what I do. All right, so um, the next thing you're going to want to do is it's going to say prompt people to send messages, all right? And then below, it's going to give you a description. Fill that in, all right? Help people start conversations with you. Yes, by doing that, it's going to give you a response assistant. This is where, like, the detail comes in because a lot of people just do that, and they don't look at this response assistant. Um, this was a newer feature a little bit ago with Facebook, and I've been using it ever since it came out. I think this is really cool, and it's helped us a lot. So, you know, send an instant message reply. As soon as it gets it, uh, we get hit. It goes to everybody who has access to this page. And then from there, we start working it down, and that person, when they make a comment, is going to actually sign off with their name. So that way we know, hey, you know, so-and-so is working this one. I'm not going to worry about it. They're closing the handle on that conversation. Let me move to the next person. Um, so it helps us kind of keep from overlapping. But for you, it's going to allow you to make sure that as you add people into this portion of your business down the road, you um, also are not overlapping. Um, you can actually set up private, like, custom messages with your information, your name, your logos, your a HTML code, all this cool stuff you can set up in here. And then you can have it set up to do auto follow-up messages. This is something that's really cool because today's topic is following up like a pro. All right. Following up like a pro. <laughs> all right. We already talked about getting the messenger app, but what about after you've spoken with a person, you've already closed the deal with them, you've already assisted them or taken care of them. Wouldn't it be nice to follow up with that person and go, hey, this is John and Sue, and I just wanted to let you know that we had a cool sale that was going on. I know we previously helped you in the past, and let us know if this was helpful or not. That's it. Boom. You've already dropped your sale directly in the lap of somebody you have direct contact with, and if they've gone through this process, they probably have some type of completion um, with you, which means they're satisfied with something that you've given them unless you just were very slow and didn't follow through. All right. So this is a very good way to get right back into a warm audience or a warm pool right here. So setting that up will save your business in some cases. All right. So let's check off one. Uh-huh. Let's check off two. Uh-huh. And let's talk about 
automated emails. Well, we just automated a follow-up message within Facebook Messenger. But if you don't have a follow-up email system or emails that are set up that you have alerts that you send out, um, then you need to do that. Um, the reason that you need to do it, guys, is because, look, Proof is in the pudding. Sometimes you reach people and they've come into your sales process, but they're just not ready to buy you. Sometimes you reach people who are ready to buy, but they need a little bit more encouragement or like guidance from you before they buy. And then other times you're going to meet people who just don't want to sell or, or excuse me, buy anything from you. They're literally just looking. And, you know, it's hard sometimes as a company uh, to separate who is in that bucket and who's not in this bucket and but in that bucket and all these other things. Right. So the one thing that we could do to really help with that is having an automated email system that's following up with people. Not only that, but now you're being able to see, excuse me guys, you're gonna be able to see who actually is engaging on those. So like if I sent this out to 200 people, how many people are actually um, responding to it? Um, and then you can create a whole other demographic uh, based off of your topic conversation and what you're sending out to know that, hey, when I sent out automated emails like this, they're going to go best to this group, this to that group, right? That's following up like a professional, not just following up, but following up with the intent to complete the sale or transaction that was not completed before and or was completed but following up for another transaction purchase. All right. So that's automated emails. And that's talking about automated frequency. Um, you know, frequency is going to vary from company to company and person to person. I like to do um, one or two a week. Um, but depending on the type of customers you have in your business, one or two is not going to cut it. And what you're going to need to do is probably, I would say, run three emails uh, automatically a month and then taper down to where it's like one major email with a couple good sections in it. But get people used to seeing your automated email so that you get people opening them up. So find that frequency that works for you. It's no guarantee of which frequency is going to work best for you. But the cool thing about Facebook and why we started with Facebook is because they're going to give you analytics. You'll know what your popping time is, so to speak. And you'll want to do email follow-up frequencies during those pop-up times. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about setting up a dummy account. All right. So let's say some of you are kind of novice or new, but you you know you have an account, but you got a basic Gmail because it's free or Yahoo or whatever. All right. That's good. That's really good. But it's not really there. All right. So what I want you guys to see here <clears throat> is let me go ahead and move my video off of this screen for a second. Oh, uh, so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is this, guys. When you come into your home page, all right, remember, we're looking for an automatic email or business account that we can use as a dedicated email. You're not going to be able to use Facebook for that, which means you're going to have to go outside the box a little bit. All right. Now, it's cool to go outside the box because sometimes that's what's needed in order to find your way. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to Gmail. Gmail kind of goes with everybody. They own YouTube. So when you start doing YouTube, it's great to have Gmail set up. Um, it's great to have video campaigning footage that goes into YouTube. It's also great to have, and I mean great to have, um, the ability to take those videos and embed them, right? So you want to fill in your Google account. Um, so for some of you who are not aware, I'm going to actually take you on a quick introduction, believe me or not, a quick introduction of Google, all right? Don't go anywhere because it's going to be worth your time. Now, before we do that, though, what I want to talk about is some questions on what we're covering because believe it or not that is the entire podcast right here all right this is the last thing we are looking at setting up a uh, email that's going to be our main email and dump so what you're going to want to do is let's say you have email a um for me jason williams at gmail all right then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go like okay well 
everybody has that email, um, including all the solicitors that have my information. I don't want to use this email for my business. Well, so I'm going to set up another Gmail, and this is going to be strictly my business, which will be, for example, us, the lower bill co, or excuse me, the lower bill oh at gmail.com. All right. That one is like a default. All right. So everything that comes into whatever either other email accounts that I have, I can default it to dump it into that folder. Then I'm going to push that one as the contact. And then I'm going to push this one as this and this and this to where I'm only checking one email, but I got all my business uh, in one area. And the only thing I use that email for is business. OK, um, that way I limit the amount of solicitation and junk email we get. Um, Another cool feature is this. Google has all kinds of cool stuff that you can set up for free. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that on our Google intro before we do into our questions. So, guys, let's go ahead and find out what we are looking at here. All right. So I'm going to come back over here. This is our company page. I'm going to go back to Google. All right. Let's see. Seeing all kinds of different stuff on here, so I'm just going to type it in. All right. Google. All right. So here we go. Google.com. We're going to scroll out of here. Go to Google.com. And as we're going to Google.com, guys, what we're actually doing is going to Google's homepage. I'm going this way because instead of using like a hyperlink or an automatic page, it's going to open us there. I want to go this way because some of you might not have a browser set up to go through Google or Chrome, right? You might be coming from Firefox or something like that. I apologize because my email or my internet is running really slow today. All right, there you go. Looks like it's catching up for us. So you come here. You got my little pretty face up here in the top right corner, but that's my personal account. I don't want to use that one. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, hey, I want a different account. All right. So I'm going to click on my little face icon. I'm going to switch to my business one. And now all of a sudden, check me out. I'm in my business email in my business account with my business logo. I told you guys before um, to fill in your business information. But I'm going to cover that briefly here, too, in this podcast. So what you're going to do from Google, once you're at the home page, you see your icon on the far right, you're going to click on those little squares. Um, it looks like there's 12 of them, roughly. Um, what you're going to do is open that. And then you're going to open up more on that tab. You're going to see my business at the very bottom right, second to the last. And then if you scroll up, you're going to see your Google Drive. Google Drive is going to be a 15 gig free service that Google gives you. A lot of people don't realize this. And it's an app you can download on your phone. So all of your documentation, your business, all that good stuff that you do on your phone, you can save it on your phone in the Google Drive app, which will load it into the Google Drive account for you, including photos, music, and everything else, right? Um, then you can go into your actual YouTube page from here. Um, as well as your email, as well as your calendar, all right? All that stuff is all right here. You even have a private way to chat with people who are friends with you on Google+. Plus. So if you have a Google account, we always tell people, hey, friend us on, a, on your Google Plus account. This way, they can actually reach a representative directly with us actively at the particular moment, not a kind of automated robot system. This one is live, all right? Um, you have all kinds of cool books and blogs and tips and tricks, your contacts, hangouts, documents. It's all kinds of good stuff in here, guys. So look in here, play around, and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. All right. Um, the next thing that we're going to look at for Google is actually setting all this stuff up and getting you going. Once again, you need to create a business Google account. All right. This business Google account is free of charge. All right. It's just simply creating a whole new account, but just strictly for your business. Then you're going to go to your personal Google account and actually go into your settings and then forwarding. And you're going to forward that directly to your business one. Now, all your customers get your business one from this day forward. All your emails that are important that are going to this old email, you no longer have to check to. It's automatically being dumped into that one. And now you only have to actually check one email because you have four or five things dumping into it. It's like a bulk trash receptor. Everything comes in there. 
And then you can actually segue things and partition it, if you wish, by making folders that only person A has access to and person B. So I'm gonna show you guys all this cool stuff down the road, don't worry, I know this sounds like a lot, but trust me, it is. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, Google has uh, really given you everything you need. So if you have a Chromebook to a laptop, to a PC, to a desktop, to a tablet or a phone, Google will work for you. Now, we just gave you an introduction to Google. We've covered everything. I'm gonna go to screen three, and we're gonna see if we have anybody live asking questions. All right, let's see here. Let me bring you guys back down. I, before I do that, did you guys like that? I mean, was there anything that I could have done better? Because we are definitely at the end of our podcast, negative a little bit of information that I'm going to show and share with you guys. So did it help? Did it? Good. I'm seeing some thumbs up. I'm seeing some uh, smiley faces. Uh, I can take that. I can take that. So if it's helping, guys, you know, keep tuning into this podcast. Share it with people. Um, you know, and reference it, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know, make sure you connect with us so that you get all the updated information. And you're going to get some really cool things that a lot of people are going to miss because they haven't been with us at this point from like day one. So all this will help you follow up like a pro and you will be better at what you're doing, servicing your customer at a higher value, which allows your customer to feel more comfortable to working with you, right? It's all a big circle. Um, it's nothing but love. But a lot of times, individuals forget the meaning or setting of love when it comes to automatic email responsing and follow-up. If you do it correctly, you shouldn't even feel like you're making an intrusion on the customer. You should feel like, hey, I'm so glad I got you because this is an awesome opportunity. We really enjoyed working with you in the past or talking with you in the past. I'd like to go ahead and see what we could do to make you a business uh, of ours that we service. If there's nothing that we can do to help you be serviced, just let us know and we might be able to find some uh, relative different options for you as well as, let's say, hmm, bundle pricing and discounts if you're buying something else. So all kinds of ways to follow up, target, and engage a new market. I gave you guys yet again another crazy amount of my day, but it's all about stopping and helping somebody. I couldn't do this all on my own. In fact, I didn't know all this stuff. I had to go learn it all on my own. But I want to be able to pass it so that you guys don't have to bump your head on it. So as you're underwater, you're catching your breath again, you're back at the top. Take a moment and reflect back at all these video calls and uh, webinar calls that we've done and look at the results. We literally had a company that we did um, at the beginning of the month. We haven't even made it a weekend, all right? Let's just say a week. We haven't even made it a weekend and running their ads, okay? And they went up 33% in their conversions category. They also put in, I want to say, six new clients additional with 189 uh, direct lead contacts. How in the world did you do it? As everybody's asking. They're like, oh, yeah, well, this is like our busiest season. Like, well, usually I know you're busy during this time, but can you come? No, 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 because I'm in the middle of doing awesome follow up. Awesome follow up. And if you do that, guys, you're going to have. Awesome follow-up with an awesome application background. So here's the next question. Auto replies. Um, do we need an automated third party? I'm sorry to tell you. Yes. Unless you have it yourself, yes. <laughs> you need a third party. Um, it's just a lot easier with a third party. You can put your nuts in there, uh, but um, when you put your little... Uh, you know, nuts here, your little nuts there, and a little bit of nuts here, right? It's like having a, a collage bowl of different things. And guys, um, this system is is already battle tested. So don't try to change a whole bunch of things. Don't try to like add a little bit. Like if you got cashews, all right, I like peanuts. If you got these kind of nuts over here, you got you know your cashews. Don't go try to throw in pecans and all this other stuff. Just you know. Just put the nuts in, uh, put the bolts in, and twist, right? Do what we're telling you to do, and you will see improvement. 
So, um, yes, you need an automated system that's going to automate some of this for you. If you do that, guys, what's going to end up happening is um, you, you'll have a better convergence rate because you won't forget to send things or follow up with people. Um, the next question, uh, same person here. Next question was, all right, all right, so we follow up, but how do we follow up as a business with other businesses? That's gonna be completely up to you guys. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll be like, hey, we're making them a book, we're making them a pack, and we're gonna send this pack to them, and then in the mail it goes. And when they get it, we're gonna have it set up to automatically email that company when they get the packet to. Right, so when they get this packet, very first thing they're gonna do is be instructed to sign up, and so, you know, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And we also have it timed out that it's gonna take them roughly seven to 10 days to get it. So somewhere between seven to 10 days, they're gonna get an automated message from us. Uh, that's like, hey, I hope that you're enjoying the new packet we sent you, blah, 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 right? Work smarter, not harder. This is where the automated emailer comes in. Um, depending on what you're doing, you're gonna get it for free. So let's just assume, guys, um, that you're really struggling. You're tight on funds. You don't have the money to do follow-up. So how do you do it? Um, the easiest way you can also do it is, of course, sending emails, having like a default email that's set up and saved in your, your uh, folders, in your drafts. And then you just copy paste whatever it is that you're trying to say to your customer and then send it in. Problem is, is you gotta sit there and do it. So it's worth the pretty pennies to just take one day of setting up the automated emailer and then walking away and never thinking about it again and letting it do what it's supposed to do for you while you focus on closing the contacts that are coming in, all right? Now, that's where that dummy email and business account comes in and the frequency really plays a part. That was like the biggest chunk of this, this webinar and this live ca uh, podcast. So make sure that you do that. Um, let's see. I don't see any other questions there. Claps and thumbs. That's good. Good. All right. So um, guys, with that being said, I am actually going to end today's call. Yes. Super duper early, guys. Super duper early. All right. Um, if you have any questions about our policies, privacies, um, you can go to our web page. At the very bottom is our privacy and policies. I uh, bring that up because I had some people ask us about that earlier. All right. Um, and then of course, Google has their own terms of privacy and policy. If you don't have one for your company, this is a good way to get one. Go ahead and use Google's and then go in there and make it your own. All right, copy it and then make it your own, paste it and then turn it into a PDF, all right? Um, just another cheap way of getting introduced to Google. Google also gives you a free, excuse me, a free um, uh, document which works just like Word. So you can actually copy paste it in there and it updates every like three or seven seconds. So you never lose it. It's like a live constant update. Ticket, a ticket, a ticket, a ticket, a ticket, a ticket, a ticket. It's like somebody hitting a speed bag and that thing's constantly backing up. So with that being said, you got a speed bag by backup system that's just beating the heck out of it. Um, let that do the backup for your documents. And then it saves on your Google Drive. You download the app for the docs, Google Docs and Google, you know, uh, the little X, green X, I can't remember what it is, um, but like uh, make it spreadsheets and stuff. It, it all can go on your phone and or all to your phone from your computer, however you want to do it, guys. It's completely cross, cross converting, which means it connects to everything. So uh, if we don't have any more questions, I think that means I did a good job explaining things, even though it was quick. And we got you guys rocking and rolling. So we're reaching back up to my minutes that I try to keep it under. So I'm going to let you guys go on that note. Peace, love, and happiness to you guys on the webcast. We're getting closer to Christmas. All right. Um, remember, we don't take breaks unless it's the holiday. All right. The day before the holiday, holiday and the day after, we take breaks. But because I do this right from my home, I'm going to be doing a podcast live before everything happens on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day will be off. But the day after Christmas, we'll do it. And then New Year's Day, I'll actually be doing a podcast as well. Although I don't expect anybody to be on it because you guys will probably be partying. 
but I'm still going to do it for those of you who are truly, truly like 100% shutters on running to your dream. That's the way you got to be uh, if you're trying to make it happen. All right. So I applaud you for that. Um, and I'm going to make sure that you get what you need to get. Uh, because that's like what my job is for you right now. I'm acting as a mentor by doing this. So that's what my job is, is to provide you with that information to help you with your growth. So guys, let me know how this works out. Now, tomorrow, spoiler alert, we're going to be moving into Google and Google's going to be really, really cool. Um, it's going to have a ton of information. So like come ready to pay attention and learn. Uh, and I'll try to take as many questions as I can, but what'll probably end up happening is I won't be having a lot of open Q and A. I'm gonna be going ahead, doing the recording and then answering your Q and A's individually. So um, type all your answers and questions in and share with everybody, um, create a good chat. And I will look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care, peace, love and happiness.